So Sham, what can I do in order to keep my employees around? I bring them in, I train them, and next thing you know, they are gone, gone, baby, gone. What can I do? This video is going to be just about that, how to try to fix, work on fixing one of the biggest issues in the hospitality industry, which is the high turnover ratio. And we're going to talk about that in three, two, one, and right now. So, hey, Mike, thank you so much for the message that you sent me about this. Listen, that is the biggest challenge of the hospitality pro. The hospitality industry is currently suffering from a major, major, major a hiring crisis because one, people don't last, and second, lots of restaurant owners complain about the quality of the people that they bring in. Guess what? You are your employees, so stop blaming the quality of the employees. The only elements that you can work on in order to improve that is you. And today, I'm going to give you like one tip that you can do in order to make sure that you can lock them in. Lots of restaurant owners have been so jaded by hiring so many employees and so many of them fleeing away that at the end, they do not care anymore who comes in. You need to keep that passion going. You need to reignite. It. And the way you do that is not by just being in La La Land and believing that the world will be a better place. I really believe it will, but more importantly, by having a proper onboarding process. Do you have a proper system of hiring, which means where to find the employees, where to place the ad, how to interview them, when to give them which kind of responsibilities. You need to have that in place. And there is a very, very important nugget I'm going to give you today, which is, are you aware of what their plans are for their social progress? Yes, social progress. A lot of my restaurant managers and owners bring people in and they do not know what these guys want to achieve. And here they are talking about them becoming the future manager with the only thing the kid wants is to save enough money in order to buy his next car. Maybe he's just there to work for a couple of months for the summer. Maybe he wants to open his new restaurant in the next couple of months for what you know. So do ask that question, what is the goal that my new hire is trying to accomplish? And just by having that one-to-one -one talk, that genuine relationship and question about what their plans are, guess what? You're going to be able to build a bond with them. And and you're going to know what they're working for. And by you taking the time to know what they're working towards, guess what? They're going to be a little bit more serious about knowing what you're working toward. The fact that you know a little bit about their dream is going to give them an extra incentive to know about yours. And that's how a team works. So that was my take on one quick thing that you can do in order to increase employee retention. It's a topic we can spend hours and hours and hours talking about, but very simple. It comes down to your onboarding process. Do you have a proper system in place to bring them in, welcome them in, make sure they stay in, and a process that you can train them, motivate them on a regular basis. You should not come up with that at the beginning of every day, depending on how you feel. This is a business. Lots of people fall for the glamour. And uh, please subscribe, comment. This is Sham, the responsible restaurant owner. Your success is my success. Uh, until we meet again, remember the secret ingredient is love. It is.